Hi, my name is Julianne Cost. Let's take a look at the new super resolution feature in Lightroom Classic. This feature uses machine learning to intelligently double the linear resolution of a photo, meaning that the resulting file will be two times the width and two times the height of the original, or four times the total pixel count. Super Resolution helps maintain the quality of the photo by preserving important information, especially along edges and in areas with fine detail and texture, which are often susceptible to artifacts after being resized. Super Resolution can be especially helpful when enlarging photos taken with low resolution cameras, when working with tightly cropped images, and when making large prints. I'll start with this raw file because starting with the highest quality image will render the highest quality results, but you can also use super resolution with other file formats such as JPEG and TIFF and PSD and PNG files. Because super resolution creates a new raw file in the DNG format, you can choose to make edits to the original, which will automatically be carried over to the enhanced DNG, or you can wait to make adjustments to the newly created image. Here I'll use the crop tool to crop in on the image, and then I'll also tap the auto button. Then I can choose from the photo menu and select enhance, or right click in the image or control click on Mac and choose enhance, or use the shortcut Control Option I on Mac, Control Alt I on Windows in order to display the Enhance dialog. When we apply Super Resolution to a RAW file, we automatically get the benefits of the Enhance RAW details as well. I can click and hold in the preview area to toggle between the Enhanced and the original image. Now to zoom into another location, I can click the magnifying glass icon to zoom out, then click in the image preview to zoom in. We can also drag to reposition the preview area, and Lightroom Classic will estimate the time it will take to create the enhanced image. Super Resolution does its calculations on the GPU, so a fast GPU will make a big difference in the time it takes to process. And we can choose whether or not to stack the newly created enhanced image with the original. When I click Enhance, Lightroom Classic will create that enhanced DNG file with double the resolution of the original. We can see that all of the adjustments were carried over to this image, including the crop, and all of the adjustments are non-destructive and can be changed at any time. In fact, because super resolution affects resolution and therefore the fine details in the image, you may want to zoom in to 100% and in the details panel, refine sharpening and noise reduction options as needed. In addition, the texture and clarity settings in the basic panel may also benefit from slight refinements. While I don't expect that you'll be applying super resolution to all of your images, you can apply it as a batch process. You can either select the images and choose enhance to view the options in the dialog, or you can bypass the dialog altogether running super resolution with the last settings applied by using the shortcut Control Option Shift I on Mac, Control Alt Shift I on Windows. Okay, two quick tips before we wrap up. Lightroom Classic has a file size limit of 65,000 pixels on the long side or 500 megapixels. So you may not be able to apply super resolution to a really large file such as a panorama since doubling the pixel dimensions of the panorama may exceed the limits of Lightroom Classic. And two, you can't apply super resolution multiple times to the same original. Although you can apply super resolution and then enlarge the file further when exporting, or enlarge it using another application such as Photoshop. So there you go. The next time you need to increase the resolution of your image, be sure to check out the new super resolution feature in Lightroom Classic. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.